Hi Taurus, welcome to your love reading for June 2021. This is going to be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. These are general messages so they may or may not resonate. Also, the messages can be vice versa. If it doesn't resonate with you, you can always check your other placements. Let me look at your overall energy. What's the overall energy for Taurus? For their love connections or future connection? What's the overall energy for Taurus? Okay. Dead end. Boundaries. Missing pieces to a puzzle and ego. So, wow, there seems to be something that might be ending. I feel some of you are realizing what you do need in your life and you, there's something missing in probably a current connection for some of you or there was something missing in a connection that you may have just walked away from. I'm just getting the vibe of realizing that you deserve to have more is what i'm seeing okay what's going on with taurus in love for the month of june other love messages for taurus That lack of equal give and take is definitely there. Okay. Wow, so I'm seeing that you are definitely feeling like it's not equal. I feel like you're really putting your foot down and demanding, you know, what you want out of a relationship or marriage. You're seeing your person as being very indecisive. It's like you can't always get like a stable answer from them or you know any stability, anything concrete. We have um, Queen of Cups as their feelings in reverse. So emotionally this person is, is they're definitely in their feelings, especially if you walked away from them. Um, we have the Ace of Cups in reverse. So there's been some type of rejection when it comes to this connection or there will be in june some of you might reject their offer because i am seeing that they want to reconcile with the three of cups but some of you might reject it or you know because there's just ace of cups in reverse it's between the both of you so it's like there's a blockage and what's blocking is justice so there's a lack of balance in this connection obviously like that's literally the theme that's going on right now it's imbalanced they're not giving as much as you are and i see that you're not standing for that because you have boundaries here so you're setting boundaries like no i'm not going to deal with this anymore and they're seeing you as strength so your decision to really stand up for yourself obviously they respect that they see you as a very strong person and you're a taurus and you are ruled by a big old bull so <laughs> that that says strong to me they are seeing you that way they're seeing you as a bull so we have the wheel of fortune in reverse as the outcome oh this says so many things to me it says that some of you may feel unlucky you may like go through a period where you're feeling unlucky because things didn't work out i feel like that's just temporary that you're not really seeing why it all happened yet let me clarify some things. The Queen of Cups in Reverse. Why is this person from Queen of Swords in Reverse? Yeah, they, they're in their feelings. Yeah, they're in their feelings about the fact that they now feel rejected by you. Definitely in their feelings. There is 
there's frustration there's some some anger a little bit not a lot not extreme anger but also just sadness as well because of the feeling of rejection why the three of cups strength again this person they feel like they had a strong connection with you that love is in reverse yeah you definitely walked away from this person or rejected them in some way because they're seeing an ending of a relationship they're seeing you know there's this eight of cups here emotional distance this is all of this is the reason why they want to reconcile so definitely they're definitely in their feelings about it why the six of pentacles in reverse yeah hanged man again you were not stand <laughs> you were not putting up with this you're not putting up with the lob lopsided relationship I'm getting I'm hearing that you you'll you'll literally um, I'm hearing like an attitude like I'll literally fall out of love or get rid of the feelings if it's you know one-sided if it's not fair so I just see you really step in, setting boundaries and stepping up and standing up for yourself when it comes to your heart not putting up with anything why the seven of cups in reverse five of pentacles in reverse six of cups in reverse you know that this person misses you you know that they want to come out of the cold or you will know sometime in june like you start to see that they're trying to creep back in you'll see that trying to reconcile some of you may see like mixed mixed um signals like they may one minute seem like they're trying to be friends the next minute they seem like they're wanting to get back in a relationship why the wheel of fortune in reverse someone feeling unlucky some of you may feel like you're waiting for something also this person feels this will of fortune in reverse as well because they feel like they've um lost what they had which was this ten of cups this emotional fulfillment but the lack of effort caused that the lack of effort they put in What's the near future energy for Taurus? What can Taurus expect in the near future? There's some kind of um, communication coming together. There is um, a male or, well, I shouldn't say male, male or female. Oh, there's two males. I didn't see this one. I really feel like this happened for a reason, meaning this dude was behind this dude i don't know if there's two i mean let's say male or female there's two people here that have to do with you healing i don't know if you're going to if these are two friends that help you heal if these are two counselors two family members two father figures or mother figures um but there is healing i also see a couple with like two males so same sex um couple here that involves a lot of healing this could be the current connection healing you two coming together in healing there's something to do with two people in healing okay <laughs> two people either you and your person or there's two people coming into your life but there's also when i did see this come from behind this person it could be moving on from one person to a new person and being able to heal because this person here 
this King of Pentacles is the one that I that came out first, the one I really had my eyes on, and this King of Pentacles um, is a person who knows what they want. They know where they're going, know what they want, and the problem you, you had with your person, or well, one of the problems you had with your person, is that they couldn't figure out what they wanted or couldn't make up their mind. This person does know. So you could be moving on from that to this, or this could be the two of you working it out and healing for this near future energy. But also, um, the Three of Pentacles came out as well. Could it be that you move on and this kind of starts to seem like a love triangle because this person um, isn't planning to let go just yet? And this Knight of Swords, maybe their energy towards the fact that you might be moving on. Wow, it just looks... The near future, there's so many different stories coming up for your near future. So whichever one sounds like your story. But these two men here, male or female, these two people, I feel like they're important when it comes to your near future. There's two individuals that have something to do with your healing. I don't know if you watch like counselors online or something, something. There's two people here. All right, so let me see. Why the Ace of Cups in reverse? Yeah, <laughs> you see that reconciliation that you want? Some of you are rejecting it. Maybe just for now, or maybe completely rejecting it and moving on. I see the contemplation about moving forward, moving on with the Two of, two of Wands. Why the Hanged Man in reverse? Why the Hanged Man in reverse? Okay. Some of you are seeing the relationship as a burden. You may have um, really come to a lot of realizations. Like for a long time, some of you may have had this blindfold on, um, not realizing that you were the only one doing everything in the relationship. And then suddenly because when it's in reverse, the blindfold falls off, things become clear. So things became clear to you and you kind of just decided, hold on, this person is, you know, taking advantage. And you decide, I'm not dealing with that and you leave. But I'm getting the message that healing is, is another thing. Like leaving is one thing, making up your mind to just be done with something is one thing but then healing is the actual journey so it's it's like they're saying keep that in mind could be dealing with an aquarius here this star energy lets me know that there's something big coming your way something you should look forward to what are the love messages for taurus engagement your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment Finance, finance and career, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Maybe you've been, maybe you've been financially helping this person more than they've been helping you. Maybe you've just been giving and giving and you may have come to realize that they were just taking and taking. Chemistry, there's a strong magnetic attraction here. Falling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Some of you are even moving up, moving on from the King of Swords to the King of Pentacles, whether it's male or female, or, or there's a chance for this connection, which for a lot of you, it seems more like you're done. But we have chemistry and engagement, so there's something for you to move forward to don't know if it's with them or with someone else. I just know there's two people right here. What's the advice for Taurus for June? June advice. Hold on a second. Cards falling on the floor. Look at the bigger picture. 
Be bold and make the first move. Some of you may already have a new crush. Work through your fears. Scorpio energy and you and your loved ones are safe. Cancer energy, also have Sagittarius energy. There's a lot that you're gonna need to work through. You're being asked to look at the bigger picture. If there's someone that you like, say something. I'm not saying to contact an ex. I'm saying if there's a crush that you wanna move on to, if you're completely done with your person, say something, be bold. Um, if you have a strong feeling that they like you back, of course, um, but there is definitely, like, like I said before, um, you're just not putting up with a one-sided relationship. You're not putting up with someone who's just taking. So some of you have already made the decision to end that with some someone who's like that. And so from there, it's just one of these people over here that you're probably moving on to, hopefully the King of Pentacles, who is very stable, possibly financially stable as well, so that you can have a better relationship is what I'm seeing. But you're definitely not putting up with something here. And they are definitely in their feelings about it. They're definitely hurt and feeling rejected. And I do feel like they're gonna try to reconcile. But that's all up to you. Sorry, my neighbors are moving chairs around upstairs as usual. So this is what I'm seeing for you, Taurus. You're gonna, like I said, you're gonna start seeing signs that they're wanting to come out of the cold. At this point, it may be frustrating because it's like, then you'd have to make a decision. Do you take them back or not? But just prepare for that. So check your other placements if you want to know what else to expect. Like if you enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.